Hey guys, how's it going? I'm Frost and already welcome back to part number 12 of Mass Effect. Hell yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Oh, this is just more Salarians. Alright. But yeah, hope you guys are doing well. Uh, welcome back to part 12. If you didn't watch the last episode, we're starting in Vermeer. Oh no, we started in Vermeer, not starting, because, you know, we've done it. But, yeah. I'm just quickly going... Uh, just exploring this place first before we move to the other place. I'm not going to need the elevator for, but yes, if you didn't watch the last episode, there is a full link in the description. No, sorry, there's a link in the description to a full playlist. I can never say that and I do not know why. But uh, yeah, hope you guys are all doing well and let's continue. There was nothing over there, so that's fun. Here's the indoctrinated Salarians. I can't speak today, I don't know why, I'm very sorry. Alrighty. Let's get on this elevator and let us fucking blow sad into bits. So this is the nuke mission, and I think I fucked up by sending Ashley to go with the Salarians. I wanted Ashley to arm the bomb, oh fuck me sideways. What is going on? Oh fuck. Is when we're... Can... No, okay, do not speak to them. Don't speak to them. Oh, I fucked it. I fucked it. Okay. So we just continue on, I suppose? Until we... We clear out this base. I guess that's what we're doing. I mean, that's kind of the whole point. But yeah. So yeah. I'm gonna save Ashley instead of Caden. But the thing is, is I sent Ashley. Don't shoot! Please, I just want to get out of here before I sent Ashley with the Saladian team. Not going to hurt you. Who are you? So. Granite the Noctis, neurospecialist. But this job isn't worth yeah, You might become indoctrinated. You think the indoctrination only affects prisoners? Sooner or later, Saren will want to dissect my brain too. Yeah, why should I trust you? One reason I should help you. I, I can help you. This oh, yeah, that is helpful, Sarah actually. Lab. I can get you in. See? Full access. All of Saren's private files. Are we good? Can I go? What were you studying here? It's that ship, Sovereign. It emits some kind of signal. Undetectable, but it's there. I've seen the effects. So you were studying Saren that? uses it to influence his followers. To control them. It's called indoctrination. Direct exposure to the signal turns you into a mindless slave, like the Solarian test subjects. But there's collateral damage too. All right. I'm gonna blow this place to hell and gone. If you want to make it out alive, you better start running. What? You can't. But I'll never. Ah! Start running. All right. Let's decrypt this and then get on with it. So this is Saren's private lab. What kind of things is he doing though? That's what I want to know. What things go on in the private lab? We've also got Rex and Tally with us, uh, you know, as we had last time. Because they're Two of my favourites and Garrus, but as I said, Shepherd, look over here. It's another beacon, like the one on Eden Prime. I can't get down there though. Oh no, I can. I'm just fucking blind. Is this one gonna blow me up as well? Do I see more visions from this? It's turned off. Oh, yep, there it is. The visions are back. You know, this isn't really decrypting anything. I just think Shepard's going fucking mad. See the way his eye twitched there? Okay. 
This place is an abomination. What did that do? I get the feeling something bad is about to happen. You know what, Rex? You're probably right. You are not Saren. Are you the Shep? What is that? Some kind of VI interface? Rudimentary creatures of blood and flesh. You touch my mind. Fumbling is that Sovereign? Incapable of understanding. I don't think this is a VI. Oh, you don't say. There is a realm of existence so far beyond your own, you cannot even imagine it. I am beyond your comprehension. I am Sovereign. Sovereign isn't just some Reaper ship Saren found. So you're it's a Reaper, interesting. Reaper, a label created by the Protheans to give voice to their destruction. In the end, what they chose to call us is irrelevant. We simply are. The Protheans vanished 50,000 years ago. You couldn't have been there. It's impossible. Organic life is nothing but a genetic mutation. An accident. Your lives are measured in years and decades. You wither and die. We are eternal, the pinnacle of evolution and existence. Before us, you are nothing. Your extinction is inevitable. We are well, the best of everything. There is an entire galaxy of races united and ready to face you. Confidence born of ignorance. The cycle cannot be broken. Cycle? What cycle? The pattern has repeated itself more times than you can fathom. Organic civilizations rise, evolve, advance, and at the apex of their glory, they are extinguished. The Protheans were not the first. They did not create the Citadel. They did not forge the Master. So there was someone they merely found before the Protheans. Legacy. Of my kind. Why would you construct the mass relays, then leave them for someone else to find? Your civilization is based on the technology of the mass relays. Our technology. By using it, your society develops along the paths we desire. We impose order on the chaos of organic evolution. You exist because we allow it, and you will end because we demand it. Blessed. They're harvesting us, letting us advance to the level they need, then wiping us out. What do you want from us? Slaves? Resources? My kind transcends your very understanding. So what we I'm gathering from this is just the Reapers are a bunch of knobs. Free of all weakness, you cannot even grasp the nature of our existence. You're not even alive. Not really. You're just a machine. And machines can be broken. Your words are as empty as your future. I am the vanguard of your destruction. This exchange is over. Oh. Did you do that? Commander, we got trouble. What's wrong, Joker? Me, Joker. That ship's sovereign? It's moving. I don't know what you did down there, but that thing just pulled a turn that would shear any of our ships in half. It's coming your way, and it's coming hard. You need to wrap things up in there fast. There's nothing we can do here. Idea, Shepard? Let's head to the breeding facility. Joker can pick us up after we set the nuke. Alright, hey. So, Sovereign's coming after us, so that's not fun, but where am I meant to go? I guess back the way? I mean, that's the only way I can think of, right? Unless I can... yeah, no, back the way. Guess we're going back the way, that's fun. But where from here? Oh, there's an enemy. More death. So where's the breeding facility then? Did we miss it? Like... So we're there. Ah, it's this way. Oh. Okay. 
go. Krogan, how fun. Hey, when they do that, why do they like fall to the floor and just kind of glow up a bit? All right, so this is the breeding facility. It feels weird seeing that breeding facility. I'm not sure. Let me just get rid of the marker. I didn't get rid of it. There we are. Okay. So this is where we plant the nuke. And we're going to save Ashley. However, since Ashley's not at the nuke, I don't know if the nuke's going to go off because we're sacrificing Caden. So... We might have... Oh, fuck off. Crawly ones, the ones I don't like. That's him, where'd that other crawly one go? You. Alright. What's over this way? A drone. Another drone. Shooting rockets at me, that's not very nice. Move, Rex. And another drone, there's a lot of drones here. Alright. What is this? Deactivate that. Oh. I just blew that up in front of me, I'm fucking stupid. Alright. Sorry, guys. Oh, fuck off. Alright, yeah, let's go, chaps. There was something I could have raided there, but I, I just didn't. Don't want to waste any time, you know? There's one long elevator, longer than the other ones. I'll take the Medigel, and. Oh, there's a bunch of crawly ones in the water. Oh, there's a lot of crawly ones, it looks like. Alright, that's one. Would the other one go there? Stop jumping! Stop doing that! Stop it! It's dead now. Was that it? Just those two? I'll take that. If it's just those two, I don't mind that at all. Alright, open this. This feels like an ambush area. I can't explain it, but I feel like if I was gonna get ambushed, it'd be right here. All right, nice work. That's one less thing to worry about. Commander, I'm bringing us in. I'll get as close to the site as I can. Where? Try to look out for the Norman Day. I can't see it. There it is. So yeah, I'm, I'm giving the bomb team to Caden. But the issue is, because I'm saving Ashley, I don't know if the bomb's going to go off or not, because I've never played Mass Effect 1. I know the ending of it, and I've played 2 and 3, but I don't know anything before that. We're all set here. Commander, can you read me? The nuke is almost ready. Get to the rendezvous point, Williams. Negative, Commander. The Geth have us pinned down on the AA tower. We've taken heavy casualties. Captain Kirahi is dead. We'll Rep never Kirahi. reach the rendezvous point in time. Get them out of there, Joker. Now. Negative. It's too hot. Can't risk it. We'll hold them off as long as we can. It's okay, Commander. I need a couple of minutes to finish arming the bomb. Go get them and meet me back here. Up to the AA tower. Move. Alright. So we are going to save Ashley. Um, you know what? I'm gonna take Garrus and I'll take Garrus and Tally this time. Why not? We'll switch up. I do love Rex. He's probably my favourite, but you know, I have played them quite a lot, so 
to avoid favoritism, I will play the other ones. Do you know what's, I, I say that is not as if I've used, like I haven't touched Ashley or Caden past the two missions that are required I use them for. So, you know, there's that. Why is, oh my, go away. And I've not used uh, Liara much either. I used her, well, not last episode, but Noveria as well with her. Go away. I use her Noveria. Um, when we were taking down Benezia. Again, if you want to watch that video, there's a link in the description. You know where to go. But, uh, yeah. I haven't used the Adam much either. And I'm not romancing anyone either. If you've missed me discussing about it, where am I going? Yeah, if you missed any of the videos of me talking about it, I'm not romancing anyone in this walkthrough. At least for the first game, I'm not. Where am I going? Over there. Oh, up here. Reinforcements. We better hurry. Heads up, LT. We just spotted a troop ship headed to your location. It's already here. There's Geth pouring out all over the bomb site. Can you hold them off? There's too many. I don't think we can survive until you get here. I'm activating the bomb. Alenko, what are you doing? I'm just making sure this bomb goes off. Oh no. No matter what. It's done, Commander. Go get Williams and get the hell out of here. Okay, so the bomb does go off. Screw that. We can handle ourselves. Go back and get Alenko. Come for Ashley. Williams, radio Joker and tell him to meet us on the AA tower. Yes, Commander. I. It's the right choice, and you know it, Ash. I'm sorry, Caden. I had to make a choice. I understand, Commander. I don't regret. Bye, Caden. You won't be missed. All right. To the AA tower we go. Man, I I know people like Caden more than Ashley. I know Ashley's like the main hated one, but I genuinely cannot stand Caden. He is so fucking boring. I'm sorry if you like him, but I don't. I, I can't stand him. Ashley's not the greatest either, I will admit. She's a space racist. So, there's that. However, if I'm thinking about the future, because I'm going to play 2 and 3 at some point, then I at least want someone who's better. And I think Ashley's gonna be that little bit better than, you know, Caden. Based off of Mass Fed 1, I can only imagine how, you know, better she'd be in 3. But they're both annoying as shit. Oh, they're friendly. I don't know why I was trying to shoot them. Hi, Ashley. Oh, it's Saturn. you've got some sort of armor on. This has been an impressive diversion, Shepard. My Geth were utterly convinced the Salarians were the real threat. Of course, it was all for nothing. I can't let you disrupt what I've accomplished here. You can't possibly understand what's really at stake. Why are you doing this? You've seen the vision from the beacons, Shepard. You of all people should understand what the Reapers are capable of. So why are you working? That doesn't explain why you're working with them. Self and pointless revolt. Do not sacrifice everything for the sake of petty freedoms. The Protheans tried to fight, and they were utterly destroyed. Trillions dead. But what if they had bowed before the invaders? Would the Protheans still exist? A submission not preferable to extinction. Do you really believe the Reapers will let us live? Now you see why I never came forward with this to the council. We organics are yeah, but by emotion. do you not think that after the Reapers wipe us out, they're not going to wipe you out as well? No, we cannot win. But if we work with the Reapers, if we make ourselves useful, think how many lives could be spared. Once I understood this, I joined Sovereign. Though I was aware of the dangers, I had hoped well, the hadn't. facility could protect me. You're afraid Sovereign is influencing you. You're afraid he's controlling your thoughts. I've studied the effects of indoctrination. The more control Sovereign exerts, the less capable the subject becomes. 
That is my saving grace. The Sovereign needs me to find the conduit. My mind is still my own, for now. But the transformation from ally to servant can be subtle. I will not let it happen to me. Tell me why Sovereign needs the conduit. Tell me what it is. Maybe we can find a way to stop them. The conduit is the key to your destruction and my salvation. So they don't know what that is either. So it's like a race to find it. That is the only reason I have not been indoctrinated. Sovereign's manipulating you and you don't even know it. You're already under its power. No, Sovereign needs me. If I the lies you tell yourself, Saren. The lies you tell yourself. From the inevitable. This is my only hope. Together we can stop Sovereign. We don't have to submit to the Reapers. We can beat them. I no longer believe that, Shepard. The visions cannot be denied. The Reapers are too powerful. The only hope of survival is to join with them. Sovereign is a machine. It thinks like a machine. If I can prove my value, I so where do the guests come into us? Maintaining. There is no other logical conclusion. You were a spectre. You were sworn to defend the galaxy. Then you broke that vow to save yourself. I'm not doing this for myself. Don't you see? Sovereign will succeed. It is inevitable. My way. Is the only way any of us will survive. I'm forging an alliance between us and the Reapers. I don't think that's Mechanics quite gonna machines. work, though. And in doing so, I will save more lives than have ever existed. But you would undo my work. You would do. Okay, so what about the Geth takeover and the Krogan army? What's that about? Where's that fall into this? You must die. I'm gonna. Fight them. Oh no. We get to fight Saturn. I don't think we get to kill him though, right? That feels, that feels like too early to be able to kill him. Surely. He's dropping in more geth. There's a lot of geth here. This is definitely a boss fight. But you can kinda already tell that since we're fighting Saturn the main. Oh fucking hell. Wait, so do we, we can't kill him here, right? Surely not. Like... Oh fuck. Garrus. Get up, Garrus. Tally. Oh, he's gonna... I like his little space hovercraft, but that seems funky. I want one. Where do I get one? Is there space Amazon? And there's the Normandy. Best ship. Best ship. Well, this is the end of Elenko, I guess. So the bomb does go off, okay. And that's us done on Vermeer. Alright everybody, hang on! And there's the gun off. Damn. Well I I can't believe Caden didn't make it. How could we just leave him down there? I'll do this and then we'll end the episode. He gave his life to save the rest of us. It should have been me, Commander. No, I pet you because you're well, you're annoying, but I'm sorry, Ash. I'd never leave you behind. I couldn't. You know that. That seemed a bit too romantic. Oh shit, did I romance Ashley there? Because of me. Because of us. It wasn't your fault. It wasn't my fault. The only one to blame here is Sarah. Yes, sir. I'm we'll get it done. Commander, excuse me for interrupting, but I have an idea. I think the beacon you found in Saren's base was similar to the one you found on Eden Prime. 
It may have filled in the missing pieces of your vision. I Ooh, well, actually, that's a pretty good idea. Together. You want to join our minds again, don't you? Okay, go ahead. I forget how sad can do that. It's like their cool trait, mind joining. Relax, Commander. Embrace eternity. Oh, she's in my head again. More spooky sounds and weird flashbacks of death and destruction and whatever the hell that is showing me, I genuinely can't work it out. But the game will tell me in about a minute or so, so there's that. An explosion, perhaps? Two explosions? A planet? Another planet? Oh, this is... I can tell so much from this vision. There's Sovereign. Incredible. I, I never thought the images would be so intense. I need a moment to collect myself. Did the vision make any sense to you? It's a distress call. A message sent out across the Prothean Empire. A warning against the Reapers, but the warning came too late. What about the Conduit? There were other images, locations, places I recognized oh, in my research. Ilos! The Conduit is on Ilos! That is why Saren needed to find the Mu Relay. It is the only way to get to Ilos. We need to get to Ilos. Forget it. The Mu Relay's inside the Terminus systems. Alliance ships are not welcome there. Neither are Spectres. The Conduit's on Ilos, and that's where Saren is heading. I'll be waiting for him when he gets there. Saren will have his entire fleet orbiting Ilos. You will never make it down to the surface without reinforcements. You must alert the Council. We need a fleet to... Oh, but remember when the Salarians tried to get I'm a fleet? Sorry. That didn't work for them, did it? Exhausting. I should go to the medical bay and lie down for a moment. We're done here. Dismissed. Commander, there's a comm buoy nearby. I can link us in if you want to report back to the Citadel Council. You know, to warn them about Sovereign. Set the link up, Joker. They need to know. Patching it through. Alright, we'll do this Commander in another episode. I'm pleased to see your mission on Vermar was a success. Saren is formidable enough without an army of Krogan serving under him. The Krogan would have served Sovereign. A Reaper. Yes, we saw mention of this on your report. Sovereign. Ascension machine. A true artificial intelligence. This news is quite alarming. If it turns out to be accurate. Sovereign's a Reaper. Saren admitted it. He's playing you, Shepard. Saren still has contacts on the Citadel. He probably saw your earlier reports. The ones oh, shut up, Sparathus. And the Reapers. It's highly possible Saren is using false information to throw you off balance. Our own intelligence has never turned up any corroborating information. Sooner or later, you're gonna have to take something I say on faith, Counselor. Try to see this from our perspective, Commander. Saren is a threat we can recognize. However, as far as we know, the Reapers only yeah, well, exist in your you won't visions. be seeing that when it fucking attacks you. Decisions affect trillions of lives. We cannot act on the accusations of a single person, even a specter. Not without solid evidence. The Council cannot take any official action here. That is why we created the Spectres. You have okay, the authority cool. to act so I can blow up Sovereign? If you truly believe Sovereign is the real threat, you must take whatever steps are necessary to stop it. And Saren. Good luck, Commander. From all of us. Alright, oh. But yes, I'm getting the episode right here before we go on for any longer, right? I've been your boy Frost. Hope you guys did enjoy part 12. We defeated Vermeer. We're on to Ilos next episode. Hell yeah. Hope you guys see you there. Peace.